Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Model S and X Plaid arrive in Germany for first deliveries. Tesla FSD's prolonged release doesn't make it a fraud, company says. First look at Tesla Cybertruck single-piece rear megacast from Giga Texas is here. And, first look for Tesla's MyQ Wi-Fi garage door opener integration revealed, along with the cost. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Model S and Model X Plaid vehicles have arrived in Germany, as the company is preparing for first deliveries. Recently, we reported, Tesla Model S and Model X cars had arrived at the port of Zeebrugge in Belgium and loaded onto car haulers for customer deliveries. The haulers were spotted in Antwerp, Belgium, full of Model S Plaid and long-range vehicles. Now, more Model S, and for the first time, Model X units, have been spotted on haulers in Germany, in several locations. In Cologne, near the quarter of Humor, on Highway A3, Model S and Model X Plaid and Long Range units were spotted on car carriers, heading to customers for delivery. Model S units were spotted in previous days. However, this is the first glimpse of Model X vehicles, heading to European customers. More Model S vehicles were being transported to customers near Berlin, as another hauler full of Tesla's flagship sedan was spotted on Highway A2. The Model S and Model X have not been released in Europe since Tesla refreshed their designs in late 2020 and early 2021. Initial deliveries were expected to begin in December, and Tesla received certificates of conformity several months ago, meaning the automaker was clear to start deliveries. Numerous ships left ports in the United States last week, in transit for Zebrugge, and plenty more are on the way. Several cargo ships are set to leave the port of Baltimore, Maryland, in the coming days, with additional Model S and Model X units, as more deliveries are set to be completed before the end of the year. Tesla is rushing to complete deliveries in an attempt to push 2022 delivery figures higher. Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD's prolonged release doesn't make it a fraud, company says. Tesla Full Self-Driving's prolonged release doesn't make it a fraud, the company said in a motion to dismiss a case. Tesla is currently involved in a class-action lawsuit from a few autopilot and full self-driving customers and has recently filed a motion to dismiss the case with the U.S. District Court in San Francisco. In September, we reported on a Tesla owner filing a class-action lawsuit against Tesla over allegedly misleading the public regarding its autopilot, enhanced autopilot, and full self-driving capability technology. Since 2016, Tesla has claimed that all its vehicles produced going forward have all the needed hardware to become self-driving with future software updates. However, the automaker has yet to deliver on the promise, and over the last few years, some owners have started to doubt Tesla's ability to deliver at all, leading to the lawsuit now. Last week, Tesla filed to have the lawsuit dismissed, which resulted in a rare comment from the automaker about not having delivered on self-driving yet. Tesla argues that its failure to deliver on the goal doesn't constitute fraud. Mere failure to realize a long-term, aspirational goal is not fraud, Tesla said. Calling Tesla's advertisement that its vehicles will become self-driving a long-term, aspirational goal is the most cautious description of the goal from the automaker to date. But the approach will make it difficult for the plaintiffs. They need to prove that Tesla intentionally misled customers into thinking they were buying vehicles that would become self-driving. They would need to prove that Tesla knew it couldn't deliver on the promise, which could be difficult to do. Tesla never promised a specific timeline for delivering on the goal, but CEO Elon Musk previously said that Tesla would achieve self-driving in 2020. The goal has been delayed several times. In the motion to dismiss, Tesla argues that the complaint actually shows that Tesla has been working toward the goal of self-driving. To the contrary, allegations in the complaint demonstrate that Tesla has been constantly improving its ADA's technology by releasing software updates with the goal of achieving more and better autonomy capabilities in the future, Tesla said. 
Tesla also references several comments made by the company and CEO Elon Musk that constituted warnings that there will be issues bringing self-driving to market. In addition, from early on, Tesla made clear that there will still be a significant time gap, varying widely by jurisdiction, before true self-driving is approved by regulators, Tesla said. The company ends its argument by saying that the complaint identifies no specific timeline promised by Tesla to release fully autonomous capabilities to the general public. Moving to the next update, first look at Tesla Cybertruck's single-piece rear megacast from Giga Texas is here. When Elon Musk provided an update during his opening remarks at the Q3 2022 earnings call, he made it a point to highlight that Tesla is already in the final lap for the Cybertruck. This was highlighted in the company's Q3 2022 update letter, which listed the Cybertruck as a vehicle that was already in its tooling phase. Days after the Q3 2022 earnings call, images of Cybertruck bodies being moved through Giga Texas were shared online. The bodies were fully covered, but it was evident from the vehicle's size and shape that it was the Cybertruck. Since then, only a few images of the Cybertruck inside Giga Texas have emerged. That is, at least, until now. An image of a Cybertruck body, with its apparent single-piece rear megacast, was recently shared online. The photo was posted on Twitter by Tesla owner and EV advocate, Glide Outside, who noted to Tesla Roddy that the image was taken from Giga Texas. The photograph was taken from the vehicle's rear, and it showed what seems to be two main parts of the Cybertruck's body put together. One looked like a megacast, and the other looked like it was hydroformed stainless steel. A close look at the rear megacast hints at a number of interesting details. For one, Elon Musk was not kidding when he previously stated that the Cybertruck's rear requires a casting that's bigger than those used in the Model Y. Musk has noted that Tesla would have to use the largest casting machine available for the Cybertruck's rear body because it's a large vehicle with a long truck bed and it has to be capable of carrying a lot of weight. As could be seen in the recent photo from Giga Texas, the single-piece megacast for the Cybertruck's rear is indeed the largest yet. Also interesting in the recent Cybertruck image was the apparent absence of a folding midgate. This came as a slight disappointment for some Tesla supporters, as some were looking forward to the feature. A folding midgate was also heavily hinted at in a Tesla patent from last year, which describes folding second rear seats. The patent was met with much excitement, as it would make the Cybertruck a great camping vehicle. If the recent image of the Cybertruck and its megacast is any indication, it would appear that this won't be the case. Inasmuch as there is still a lot of doubt from skeptics who believe that the Cybertruck is simply vaporware that will never get released, updates from Giga Texas and the growing number of images of the all-electric pickup truck in Tesla's facilities suggest that the vehicle is indeed closing in on production. This was practically confirmed by Tesla in the Q3 2022 earnings call, when the company noted that Giga Texas is on track to start early Cybertruck production in the middle of 2023. Moving to the last update, first look at Tesla's MyQ Wi-Fi garage door opener integration revealed, along with the cost. Tesla's 2022 holiday software update looks like it is going to be packed with new features, one of which is the long-awaited support for Wi-Fi garage door openers. Thanks to a blunder by Chamberlain, we have our first look at how the system will work on Tesla vehicles and how much it will cost you. According to the MyQ Connected Garage plus Tesla support page that has since been removed from the Chamberlain website, Tesla owners will simply need to download the MyQ mobile app, create an account, and then connect it to your Tesla through a QR code generated on the in-car display. For owners that already have a MyQ account, your garage door openers will automatically sync to your vehicle when you sign up. The now-deleted support page also shows you will be able to set up a geofence, which will automatically open and close your garage door without the need to press any buttons, similar to Homelink. Unfortunately, this convenience will still come at a cost, although it won't be as expensive as Homelink. Elon Musk first said support for Wi-Fi garage door openers would be coming to Tesla vehicles back in 2020. 
At the time we said that depending on how this was going to be integrated, it could turn out to be a much cheaper solution than Homelink, the $350 accessory that also automatically opens and closes your garage door. While it will be cheaper, there will still be a fairly substantial cost. According to Chamberlain, Tesla owners will get a free 30-day trial, after which this feature will cost you $179 for a 5-year subscription. The cost of the required equipment will of course also be extra. This information is all based on an outdated support page, so the terms and pricing could change before it is officially released. As for when that will be, based on a Chamberlain support agent, Tesla's 2022 holiday software update could be coming on December 22nd. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.